way to the sky. Ma'am? How? Are we there yet, Freddy? Almost. It sure is nice of your cousin Calico to teach us all about raising hogfish. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear 10-gallon hats? I think a five-gallon hat is more your size. Come on, let's go! I'm at least seven gallons, Freddy. Six and a half minimum. Cousin Calico's Ranch! We're gonna be ranchers soon! Nobody is more than one, just a little ways upstream. When a plastic worm with a painted on axe. Hi, Cousin Calico! Oh, hello, Freddy! Howdy, Luther! We're ready to help out! Which way to the hogfish? Well, it seems we got a little problem there. See, my prize-winning hogfish herd is being rustled. Rustled? What does that mean? Somebody came and took them without asking. That's not right. No, it's not. And a hogfish requires proper care. I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Did you call the police? I think the sheriff's gone out of town. And I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Yeah! Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn. here if they know anything about those rustlers. Welcome to Just Buckles! I'm Nelson Tolso! How can I help you today? I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. 
and we're helping my cousin, Calico Catfish. Rustlers took all of her hogfish. <gasps> Rustlers? Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. What are these plans? No, oh, those are the blueprints for the custom belt buckles I make. They feature a stylish arching metal back with a personalized letter on the front. Any letter the customer wants! I'll bet they look nice. Oh, they're very popular. Did you see this picture? It's my son, Half Nelson. He was real cute as a baby, don't you think? He has your forearms. What's that big thing? I thought you only made buckles. Eh? Oh, that, that's, um, it's a personal project. Nothing important. It says, just buckles. Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend, Luther. I'm Ape! Periwinkle and Apricot are my grandsons. Some rustlers took my cousin's hogfish. Have you seen or heard anything suspicious? Rustlers taking your cousin's hogfish sounds mighty suspicious to me already. Is that what I think it is? It's ink. Oh! Look, Freddy! Maybe this is a clue! Meet at the Rusty Rustler at High Tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Four, seven, three. I'll bet the rustlers left this. I wonder why they didn't eat the note like it says. It probably tastes like paper. We'll hang on to it. That combination must be important. Howdy, youngsters. I'm Saltwater Stella, owner and operator of the Soda Loon. What can I do for you? We wanted to ask you if you've seen any rustlers around here lately. Rustlers? Well, there were a couple of suspicious characters in here yesterday. They might have been rustlers. They sat at that table right over there. Thank you. What can I do for you kids? One walnut soda, please. One soda on the house. Oops. Um, thanks anyway. Sorry about the mess. That's okay. Happens all the time. I should probably stop serving drinks that way. It's just too much fun. One Loganberry soda, please. You bet.
Scale Rider! I'm looking for Finn Eastwood. Finn Eastwood. You feel guppy? Well, do ya? My pal Luther. Well, hello! Eight Fingered Phil! Dr. Piano Ology at your service. Stella at the counter said she saw some suspicious looking types in here yesterday. Did you see anything? We think they might have been rustlers. Rustlers? No, I wouldn't know a thing about that. I know the piano and it knows me, but that's about it. Sorry. I can't help you out. That's okay. Thanks anyway. Yeah. Hi. It's me. Listen. I want to talk to you about that note. Road closed due to construction. Back shortly.
creepy! Do you think that could be the rusty rustler they mentioned in the note? Hey, maybe it is! Come on, let's check out that hatch. Okay! Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. 473. This shouldn't be too hard. We just have to punch in the combination. 9. Zero. One. Two. Three. Four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three. <coughs> we did it! It's open! Boy, I'll say! I guess the lock was the only thing holding the door on. Confirmate! What's that racket? Someone's coming! Hurry! Aw, oh, fiddlesticks! The door came off again. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and stand guard. I wonder if they still called it standing guard if you're sitting down. I hear the hogfish in there. Let's go, Luther. Hey, Freddy, can we eat this note now like it says? Well, I guess we won't need the combination anymore. <laughs> well? I can see why the rustlers didn't eat it. Tasted like paper. <laughs> it's rustlers only in the hideout. Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be rustlers. How do you know we're not rustlers? That's easy. You're not dressed like rustlers. If you were a rustler, you'd have a ten-gallon hat like mine. A belt buckle like mine. And a fashionable bandana. All rustlers dress exactly alike? Yep, we all wear the latest rustler gear. You can see from this picture in Rustlemania magazine. Hmm, a purple 10 gallon hat. A big old belt buckle with an S on it and a bandana. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be rustlers, so you can't come in. Cause this hideout is for rustlers only. Okay, thank you. This is the rustler hideout, all right. I'm sure the hogfish are inside. What are we going to do? We've got to get some new clothes. You hogfish, quiet down or else, or else I'm calling Mr. Big. Did you hear something? It was probably just the current. I guess. I guess whoever was working here is done now. That's a nice screwdriver you have there. Thanks! Do you think we could borrow it for a while? No, we might need it to work on this dance floor. Maybe later when it's finished. You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you could say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about six feet by six feet ought to do it. 
these plans say they need a piece of wood six feet by six feet. Good evening, ma'am. Sir, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gil Barker, and I represent the Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut Company, third largest distributor of bubble gum and wheel nuts in the Upper Western Hemisphere. I'm Freddie Fish, and this is my pal Luther. My employers have authorized me to clear out my inventory to make room for next year's models. Everything must go! Therefore I, Gil Barker, will be offering you prices so outrageously low that you'll have to bend over to see them. I see you're looking at the gum. You have a good eye, little lady. That happens to be Super Rubber Bubble Bubble Gum, the best, chewiest bubble gum available without a prescription. Ah, oh, that's the last pack available. All the rest is, uh, reserved. I'll let you have it in exchange for just two purple sea urchins. Friendly reminder to Gil Barker. You owe Shady Shark 20 clams. Pay up pronto. What's this? Oh, that's, uh, that's nothing. It's a poem I was writing. That's an awfully strange poem. Wanted, wrong, I, Clyde, by the sheriff and the county for the discourteous offense of seahorse shaken. This buoy looks a little tired. It's barely floating. Look, it's a suitcase. Ah! Phew! It's no use. It won't budge.
My name's Freddy Fish, and this is my best pal, Luther. Howdy, kids. Folks call me Sahara Swim. We're helping my cousin Calico. Her hogfish were taken by some rustlers. Rustlers, eh? Well, I wouldn't know about that. I've known a few wrestlers in my day, but no rustlers to speak of. Say, is that a bandana you've got there? Sure is. Very handy. Although sometimes I wish I had something sturdier to carry my gear in. Whatever you're cooking smells good. It's Sahara Slim Special Super Stew. My own recipe. <sighs> oh. Not quite ready. Hello? Are you the mailman? No, I'm Freddy Fish. Go away. I'm waiting for an important package. Oh no. It's missing a handle on the lid. That's why the lid won't shut. spinning on the propeller. Yeah! I'm almost getting used to this! Oh boy! See another purple sea urchin! I think that did something. Uh-oh! Here comes the kelp casserole! I think I heard something. You! I think that did something. Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend, Luther. Hi! Well, pleased to meet you. I'm Sheriff Shrimp, the local lawman. I'd shake your fins, but as you can see, I'm a little tied up right now. Watch this, Freddy. I learned all about knots in the Fish Scouts. <laughs> Um... Sheriff Zachariah Shrimp is in your debt. If there's ever anything you need, why, you just ask. Well, as a matter of fact, there are some rustlers who... But I must be off. There's law breaking a foot somewhere. I can smell it. But... You there! No loitering! <clears throat> uh, Freddy! What? Oh! I'm sorry, Luther. Wow! That's amazing! I was in Fish Scouts, too. This could come in handy. Freddy Fish, and this is my best buddy, Luther. Hello, I'm you. That's silly. You're not Freddy. No, you like the letter U. Just U? Is it short for something? 
Yes, it's short for Uriah, Jedediah, Euripides, Algernon, Fortescue, Forsyth, um, um, oh, now what was the rest of it? Um, we'll just call you you. Most folks do. It looks like the wheel on this wagon has fallen off. Maybe we can fix it. The wheel looks like it just needs a new nut to hold it onto the wagon. Hey, you! That's your wagon over there, right? Yep, it broke down, so I'm delivering the mail on foot. Takes a little longer that way, though. How long has it been since your wagon broke down? Little over two years. It looks like you've gone about five feet since then. Yep, making pretty good time, pretty good time. Are you ready to start? Here's a fun game. Pop the bubbles before they run into you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey Luther, what's round and purple and pokey? It is it on me? No, silly. It's a purple sea urchin over there. Oh. I wasn't afraid. It says free wood. It says five feet by five feet. This should be useful. Oh boy, I hope those edges are sanded. Wow! You're bigger than, well, just about everybody, I guess. You should see my brother. I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. Well, it's real nice to meet you both. My name is Fluke. Luke, could you use some dental floss? Could I ever, but my flippers can't reach. Can you do it for me? Sure. Boy, Fluke, you're so big I bet you could swallow the whole town. <laughs> I doubt it, but I can fit a lot of folks in my mouth. That's how come I'm the cabaret. Cabaret? We put on plays and shows and things right inside my mouth. In your mouth? That sounds interesting. Could we take a look? Well, the cabaret's closed right now, but sure, take a look. Hey, this is neat. Come on, Luther. Let's try this. people see out of these things? Oh, wait, there's an eye hole. I think you could use a little bit smaller hat. They make smaller ones? Will you eat cake? Here, try it! But... It's chocolate! We got the hat unstuck from between your teeth. A little floss was all we needed. Well, that's a relief. It was driving me crazy. Can we borrow it? Sure. I'd only get it caught in my teeth again anyway. Thank you. Thanks for getting it out. You're welcome. That sail is keeping the water from coming down here. Gee, there's a porthole. Let's try to get over there. We can't get in there. The water level is too low. I think there's a handle missing from this crank. Um, 
Keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. Sign it. You know who. And deliver it right away. It's urgent. Yes, sir! Oh! <clears throat> oh, hi, kids! Hello! Can you use this piece of wood for your floor? I think that's too small. There will be several fish dancing on it at once, after all. We need a piece that's six feet by six feet. I see. probably only take one piece, so I'll put this other one back. That one's much better. of wood for your floor? Say, that looks about right. Perfect. Thanks a lot. We owe you one. You're welcome. Done. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Coffee break? Exactly. Now that your floor is finished, do you think we can borrow your screwdriver for a while? Sure. In fact, you can keep it. Consider it payment for a job well done. Gee, thanks. Are you sure you don't know anything about the wrestlers? Now, it seems to me that there used to be a club which had meetings in the saloon from time to time. Might check there. I really like those hats! We've got a hat just like that! We still need the belt buckle and the bandana. Let's go. 
screwdriver. Maybe that could fix your door. <laughs> a screwdriver? You could poke someone's eye out with that. No thanks. I have a new door on the way in the mail. the wheel back on. Careful! Don't mention G-L-U-E around old Elmer. Oh! Okay! Are pickle fit locking wheel nuts, the finest wheel nuts ever made. They come in a variety of shapes, guaranteed to fit any wheel made after 1986. And if it doesn't fit, you can take advantage of our liberal exchange policy. Pickle fit nuts are all currently available at one low price, just three purple sea urchins per nut. We'd like to buy one of your wheel nuts, please. Certainly. Now, the nuts cost three purple sea urchins, so I'll start you on one of our nut layaway plans. And you can have your nut when you've paid me the other two purple sea urchins. And may I say that a fickle fit wheel nut is really an excellent investment. Yes. Here's another purple sea urchin towards our wheel nut. Very good. Let's see. That leaves only one more purple sea urchin before the fabulous. Here's the last purple sea urchin for our wheel nut. Can we have it now? Of course. You can select any shape you like. And if it doesn't work out for you, you can bring it back and exchange it for a different one. We here at Block. This one looks good. Thank you. No. Thank you! Let's buy another wheel nut! I don't think we need one. Uh. Good evening, sir! May I interest you in... You got the 20 clams you owe me, Gil? Uh, not exactly. How much is not exactly? I've got a few purple sea urchins. You know, my dogfish needs an operation. Don't worry! I've got a really big deal uh, about to go down. Yeah? What is it? All I can say is, it's really big! I'll have your clams in a couple of days. Well, okay. Whatever you got going, I hope it's good. <laughs> oh, it is! It's real good!
We did it. It's fixed. And it'll stay on there, right? We don't have to use any glue or anything. Careful there. Don't ever mention G-L-U-E around old Elmer. Spoofs him something awful. What's he got against glue? My package at last. Mr. Tippett, do you think we could have this old mailbox door now that you're not using it anymore? Sure. Take it and leave me to hermit in peace. Thank you. Make us a belt buckle out of this. <gasps> sure, just bring me a letter to put on it and I'll get to work. Like your bandana's getting a little frayed around the edges. Yep. Eventually, I figure it'll wear out altogether. Someday, I'd like to get something a little sturdier to carry my gear around in. I need that right now. We'd better be careful. They might try to sting us. We made it! I knew we could do it! 
Look, Freddy! A purple sea urchin! We're rich! It's a great candle. Didn't we see something a while ago that needed a handle? What was it? I can't remember. Well, we'll take it with us. We've got a handle on that tail. <laughs> Here, let me help. It's not, Luther. You are. Oh, that's better. Hey, look! This place is filled with water now! It's lemongrass. Is that anything like lemonade? It's a little more sour than lemonade is. Boy, you're not kidding. I kind of like it though. Really? Pepper. <laughs> oh no. Ah, 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 Bless you. Wow. It's cayenne. Cayenne? Um, cayenne is kind of hot. It looks okay. Another purple sea urchin! Oh. 
should be more careful. Oh, sure. Now you tell me. Go to sleep, please. Got an idea? <coughs> Be free, little boy. Is it coming back down? I don't think so, Luther. Oh, bye bye, Bowie. Look, Luther. This suitcase had a three ton anchor on top of it. And it's not even scratched. Wow! We'd like to buy your pack of bubble gum, please. Excellent, excellent. Super Rubber Bubble is the most durable gum on the market. You won't be disappointed. Now, the gum is two purple sea urchins. So you can give me the second one right away. Or, if you like, I can start a gum layaway plan for you. And I'll give you the gum when you pay me the balance. That's fair. Here's the other purple sea urchin for the pack of gum. Splendid, splendid. Here you go. It's my last pack. Maybe even the last pack in the entire hemisphere. You've made a wise purchase. Thank you. No refunds. looks a lot sturdier than that bandana. Bye. 
Goby, I'm at my wit's end. These hogfish are driving me crazy. They won't eat or sleep. And they're so noisy. Where'd they get the accordion? Uh, I don't know. Did you try telling them that story about your trip to Akron? That always puts me to sleep. Oh, thanks a lot. I'm going to have to call Mr. Big again. Ooh. I'd like to hear more about your cabaret. Ocean dance is coming next fall. I'm really excited. for the belt buckle. <gasps> okay, stand back! My best work! All that's missing is a belt! Here you go! Thank you! Yeah, thanks Mr. Torso! Please, call me Nelson! All I ever wanted was to be a hogfish rancher. I had no idea it would be so much work. Maybe there are some tricks to it that we don't know about. Yeah? Well, I'm going back in. Don't let any non-rustlers inside, okay? Radio. big for you. But do I look like a ruffler? Oh! Yes! Huh? Wow! That's kind of scary! I'd almost believe you were a wrestler! Good! That's what we want! There! Those rustlers won't be able to tell me apart from the real thing. It's a great outfit. Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard. Wait, I'm coming with you. Good thinking, Luther. Let's try to get past the guard. Hold it! This is a... Well, howdy, fellow wrestler. Ahem, howdy. I reckon Mr. Big must have sent you to help us out with the hogfish, right? 
Um... Poor Mori, he's having a terrible time with the hogfish. Well, go on in. He'll be glad to see you. Thank you. We did it! Shh! We did it! We're inside! Which way do you think the hogfish are? Well, I think I hear squealing coming from... Hey! You two aren't rustlers! What are you doing here? Um, we were just leaving. You're not going anywhere! Mr. Big will know what to do with you! Nobody knows the trouble I've seen! What do we do now? It didn't even budge. Nope, this door is definitely locked. Like there might be a way out under all these cannonballs. Phew. These are heavy. There, that does it. Yeah, I just I forgot to get the gun. are the missing hogfish, all right. We're not missing. We know just where we are. What's this? It looks like a telegram. Stop worrying. Stop. Keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. You know who. Hmm. Very interesting. What's with all the ice? One of the rustlers brought it in here. I have no idea why. Maybe we can get the hogfish out through this hole. The hogfish won't fit through there, but it looks like you and I can. I guess we'll have to work out another way to get those hogfish out. They'll need a bigger opening. <laughs> that anchor looks really heavy. I'll bet that weighs six tons. What does that mean? That means it's really heavy. Oh. Did you hear something? Like a creaking noise? I think it came from out there. Look at this neat hook! Do you think maybe it belonged to a pirate? I don't know, but I bet it will come in handy. Here, why don't you hang on to it? Okay. Hello. 
Hello? 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 There! What are we gonna do with that? You'll see. This should free those hogfish. Luther, prepare to drop anchor. Ready, Freddy! Fire away! What? No! Come back! Please come back! We're going home. The food's terrible here. Oh, what do we do now, Maury? I think you should give yourselves up. You're under arrest in the name of the law! Law? What law? Yeah, I don't see any law. Then I suggest you turn around! Real slow like. It's Sheriff Shrimp! Yeah, and just about everybody in town it looks like. Youngsters, that was mighty fine work apprehending these two. I'll be taking them off to jail now. You boys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Hold on, Sheriff. There's one more person involved with the rustling. Yeah, that's right. They kept talking to somebody called Mr. Big. I never saw his face. But he was in charge. He planned the rustling and everything. Is that so? Well, what if it is? We'll never reveal the identity of Mr. Big. Yeah, you'll never catch him. Actually, I know who Mr. Big is. He's right here in the room. <gasps> when the rustlers caught Luther and me, they called Mr. Big to come and decide what to do with us. I suspect he was already here when you all arrived and just slipped in with the posse. Well, which one is it then? It's this one here, the octopus guy. I suspect Mr. Fingers. Whoa, no way, baby. I don't know rustling, just piano playing. After we found the note to the rustler saying to meet here, we heard you call them to talk about it. Note? The only call I made about a note was about a musical note. A musical note? Well, yeah, see, I got a bet going with old Seven Finger Charlie from the Plankton Hut about this one particular note in a ragtime tune. He thinks it's a B-flat, but really, it's an A-flat. Big difference. Nelson Torso. Oh, uh, but, uh, but, um... Business hasn't been very good at just buckles lately, has it? Well, no, but... And I noticed that you were building a barbell at your shop. Big enough for hogfish, maybe? No. You see, everyone thinks I keep in such great shape at my shop. I'm starting to get a little... flabby. So, the barbell... It's for me, yes! <gasps> but I'm not a rustler! No, he isn't. It's not Nelson? That was a good guess, but no, it's not him. Then which one of us is it? I think Gil Barker is Mr. Big. Me? Yes! We overheard you talking to a shark about a really big deal you had going on. Might that deal have had something to do with a certain herd of hogfish? Well, no, actually. The deal I was working on was selling 300 packs of Super Rubber Bubble Bubble Gum to the Squid family here. They reserved my entire stock, except for one licorice-flavored pack. We love the stuff. It kills the taste of the ink. Yeah, it's great. Yep. Oh, so that means Gil Barker isn't Mr. Big? No, he isn't. But that was good thinking to remember the shark. Thanks! Then which one of us is it? Maybe it's the sheriff, though. 
Is it Sheriff Shrimp? As the sheriff, he'd probably understand the criminal mind better than anyone. That's true, I do. But I'm no rustler. Yes, it's not the sheriff. Well, who is it then? Luther and I happened to be passing by when we saw Sahara Slim sending a telegram. The telegram said, keep them on ice. And then when we got here, there were big blocks of ice in with the hogfish. Well, that could be a coincidence. Except we also found the telegram. No, it's true. It's my telegram. I'm Mr. Big. <gasps> I still don't understand why you wanted us to put ice in there. Well, I didn't mean that literally. It's just an expression. It means to keep them locked up. Now he tells us. Yeah. I'm sorry, I meant no harm. I'm just so tired of traveling around all the time. And I thought maybe if I had some hogfish, I might be able to make a go of it as a rancher. Well, that's no excuse. You all ought to be ashamed. You just shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. It hurts other people, and it's just plain wrong. You're right. We're sorry. We didn't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers, but we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out at my place. I'm glad that's worked out so well for everyone. Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is brought to justice. Yeehaw! How's their immunity service working out? That's community service, son. Oh, yeah. How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. It's hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers, too? Of course. Here, I've got something for you. Ten-gallon hats? Yours is a five-gallon, so it'll fit just right. Oh, boy! Now, come on, you two. I'll show you how to tie a lasso. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play. <laughs> Do you really want to quit? Alright guys, I'll see you on my next uh, live stream though. So next one will be uh, Freddy, Freddy Fish um, 5, the final one. And after that, I'm going to play um, uh, Zoom Beanie. So, yep. Anyways guys, um, uh, I'll see you guys on my next live stream though. Um, Bye. Mm.